over under Dodgers victories at 105. I'm going to take the under, but just barely. 105, of course, the franchise record set back in the 1950s in a season in which both Roy Campanella and Duke Snyder hit more than 40 home runs. A very powerful lineup for the Dodgers this year as well. But I don't quite see them getting to that 105 level. Of course, they won 104 back in 2017. They'll be in that neighborhood. I'm a little bit concerned still about the bullpen. That's maybe that one little issue the Dodgers are still trying to work through. But this is a, to me, historic team, just not quite as good as those 1953 Brooklyn Dodgers. Christian Yelich, reigning NL MVP, over under 60 home runs. That is still a magic number. He's going to come in just under it. Christian Yelich will hit 57 home runs this year. I'm very sure about that. 57. He, of course, his career high is 36, which he set last year when he won the MVP. Historic season, of course, as we know, for home runs across Major League Baseball. Yelich, though, he might get pitched to a little bit tougher down the stretch. It's going to be a very tight NL Central race. That, to me, might actually help Yelich come in just shy of that 60 home run mark because he's going to have a lot of very competitive games. He's going to get pitched very tough. Those games are going to matter a lot where maybe he'll be getting intentionally walked a lot late in the season. If the Brewers were winning by 10 games or if they were out of the race, I could see him maybe having a chance to get 60 home runs. But I just simply think he's going to be pitched so tough, have to have a lot of those key at-bats there for the Brewers late in the season in a very competitive NL Central race. Dallas Keuchel over under 10 victories. Keuchel's going to pitch well enough to win 10 games but I think he's going to win about nine for the Braves this year. The bullpen worries me a little bit there. Of course, Luke Jackson is the closer to this point in time in the season. They may make some more moves here as we get towards the trade deadline on July 31st. But I think Keuchel's going to pitch exceptionally well. Just that bullpen worries me a little bit. It's, it's certainly the Braves. They've played a lot better here of late in the NL East. Keuchel, I think, a great fit there. They've needed a lefty like him for a long time. With Fulton Avich, of course, struggling going down to the minor leagues. He's going to be, I believe, Keuchel, a very solid pitcher for them down the stretch. He'll finish with nine wins this season. The Minnesota Twins over under 877 runs. I'm taking the over. The Minnesota Twins have a chance to have seven different players with 20 or more home runs in this season alone. Remarkable power. This team scored the most runs in the American League of any team that did not qualify for the playoffs last year, and they got a lot better during the winter. Nelson Cruz comes in, Jonathan Scope, Marvin Gonzalez, C.J. Krohn. It's a very deep lineup that also has gotten some key contributions from their young players internally, the likes of Eddie Rosario and Max Kepler as well. The Twins, a dangerous team. They've been, I think, a little bit overlooked because the AL Central race is maybe not as competitive as others around the game. The Twins are simply not getting the credit they deserve. They're going to have a historically great season, maybe even 900 runs this year in the Twins games. Aroldis Chapman over under 40 saves. I'm taking the over. Chapman is already more than halfway there as of the end of June, and the Yankees are going to get even better as the second half comes around. They've been playing with so many injured players. Of course, in the first half, they're going to get better. I, I like the way they've played the last month or so. To me, clearly the best team in the American League East. I, I look at the Rays' struggles of late, the Red Sox' struggles of late. Uh, the Orioles have been struggling since about the first week of the season. I think there, there are going to be some wins to be had for the Yankees in the second half, and I cannot wait to see a possible World Series preview at Dodger Stadium beginning on August 23rd. Yankees-Dodgers, that would be a pretty intriguing World Series, don't you think?